Welcome to another Cumulus Cycles video, where I'll show you how to configure a Java development environment on your M1 Mac. To get started, I'll open a terminal and run the following command just to confirm that I don't yet have Java installed. And of course, this indicates that I don't yet have Java installed as expected. Now, for installing the JDK, I'm going to use the Azul Zulu OpenJDK 8 for ARM processors. So I've gone to the Azul Downloads page, and I'll scroll down to the download section, and then enter my filter criteria. And finally click the button to download the DMG file. Now with the DMG file downloaded, I'll go ahead and double click to launch it, and then double click to start the installation. Continue, install, enter my password, and installation was successful. Now I need to set the Java path by exporting Java home. I'll do that by going back to the terminal and executing the following code, which will create the file and then open it in nano. Next, I'll scroll to the bottom and enter the following line, which will set Java home to the JDK we just installed using the Zulu installer. Now I'll save the file then run the following command to source the file, and finally test the configuration echoing the Java home variable, and checking the Java version. Now with the JDK installed, I'll install the Apache Maven software project management tool. So I'll start by going to the Maven downloads page, and then clicking to download the tar file. Then I'll jump over to the terminal in my downloads directory, and move the tar file from my downloads folder to my op folder. Then I'll change directory into the op folder and extract the tar file. Then I'll export the path to Maven and finally test the installation and configuration by doing a maven-v to check the Maven version. Now there's one more piece of software I need and that's an IDE for developing Java apps. I'll be using IntelliJ so I'll head over to the downloads page and select the DMG for the Apple Silicon chips. When the download completes, I'll double click the DMG file and then drag to the applications folder. Then I'll launch IntelliJ. And that's it, we're ready to start building Java applications. I hope you found this video useful.